Hi dear students, uh, you came across in the previous video the different horizons of the soil as well as what are the stages uh, which are being formed in the soil formation. Now in this coming session we will be uh, discussing what are the factors which are being responsible for the soil formation. What, uh, what, how does the soil formation be influenced by various factors and how does microbes come to play uh, in the disintegration of the rocks resulting in the formation of soil. So now let's explore uh, what are the different factors which are responsible for pedogenesis. You can see that uh, the soil formation depends upon different factors. The first and foremost which we have to say is about the parent material. Now the parent material can be varied depending upon where the soil is being formed. It can be either be due to the presence of some organic deposits such as ashes or something and it can be a sediment that has been transported and deposited by wind or water or it can be even uh, something which has been left by glaciers. Other than the parent material, we can see that uh, the climate, the climate also plays an important role in the weathering process. And it is the climate as we know, uh, like different, like wind, it can be clouds or it can be rainfall or it can be water. Uh, all these or sometimes even tundra can be responsible for the weathering. So in all these cases, uh, the climatic factors play a very important role to break the rock material into finer particles. And uh, temperature as well as water is also being included. As we discussed earlier, we had mentioned about the freezing of water within the crevices of the rocks and further on the thawing of it would result in the cracking of the rock. So climatic factors play an important role in, in the pedogenesis. And you can see that living organisms, let it be both plants as well as the animals, they play an important role to create the soils. When they die, these plants and animals, they add organic matter to the weathered parent material and uh, to help the formation of subsoil and the topsoil. And as the animals dig through the soil, they break it up, permitting more air and water to enter. Now, uh, the two things which I am mentioning here is now only plant and animals. But when in the coming session, I will be also discussing how the microscopic uh, organisms also play an important role in the pedogenesis and uh, now we have the topography also what is the topography topography is how the uh, physical features of the yeah how, basically the physical orientation of the uh, parent material is also responsible for the uh, pedogenesis now sometimes you might have hilliness or you might have flatness or amount of slope of the land. These all will influence the process of pedogenesis. Then coming to the final factor that we have is the time. The age of a soil is uh, considered in thousands and even millions of years. Because usually it takes hundreds of years for these factors to form one inch of the soil from apparent material. So all these factors, let it be the parent material, climate, the living organisms, the topography as well as the time, play a wide role and a sequential, combina uh, sequential and a combinatorial influence of all these factors results in the formation of soil. So you can uh, basically consider soil formation as a consequence of two main processes, either the chemical weathering as well as mechanical weathering. All the climatic factors uh, which are mainly being involved in it is uh, soil formation would contribute to the mechanical weathering. Now what is mechanical weathering? Just it's a summarization of what we had discussed all earlier. When mechanical weathering takes place what happens? The rock crumbles off under the influence of the weather and the climate and as we mentioned earlier uh, the cracks in these hard rocks would increase in number and size due to the freezing of water leading to expansion and the application of pressure alternated with the thawing of the ice. That is, once the water in the crevices are being frozen and when they thaw, you know what is the meaning of thawing? Thawing means just the reverse of freezing. Okay, what happens? Cracks will be get expanded. And in this cracks, bit by bit, a raw soil is being formed. And uh, from this soil, some plants will be growing. 
and the plant roots in turn will penetrate into these rocks and enhance on their uh, fermentation uh, sorry the fragmentation process is been uh, further augmented when the plant roots will penetrate into the rocks and the secretion uh, products have a favorable effect on the development of uh, microflora as well as microfauna in the rhizosphere so around the plant roots what happens the plant will be producing various substances and these plant substances will influence the growth of microscopic plants as well as microscopic uh, fauna which around the roots and when the plants die away their remains will again be added into the soil particles and then they will give up organic particles for drop and this nutrients will remain they will also boost the microbiological development and organic matter is then further demineralized and when water passes through the rocks what happens these organic matter from the top layers is will go into the deeper layers and uh, when weathering processes are sustained the soil layer becomes bigger so that the larger weeds and the trees can grow so now let's explore into the chemical portion of these events or the chemical part of this so here what happens um, we are discussing uh, in the previous one we had mentioned about the mechanical portions of it now we are going to discuss about the chemical factors which are responsible now the chemical factors are mainly involving the changes in the chemical composition of the rocks which occurs under the influence of organism as well as various substances you can see that uh, a uh, exposed rock is usually being colonized by uh, algae lichen as well as mosses which are the smallest forms of plants which we have and uh, these uh, as water increases the population of all these uh, algae lichen and mosses all will be found to be increased and if there is a dry condition what happens they become dormant and they become dry but at the same time uh, Uh, they also have a role in releasing some organic matter and you can see that uh, the, some of these okay they will start producing organic matter by taking up light energy that is they will be found to be autotrophic in nature and that will stimulate uh, once the autotrophs will synthesize organic matter various other key organotrophic organisms that is the organisms which partly or completely depends upon the organic compounds like bacteria and fungi also okay some of the bacteria and fungi they start growing of, of course you might you know that some of the uh, microbes bacteria are also be thought to be autotrophic so first the autotrophic organisms grow and later on the chemo organotropic organisms will start growing and once these chemo organic tropic organisms start growing what happens they will be uh, respiring and uh, as a result of their respiration carbon dioxide will be uh, released into the crevices of the rocks and carbon dioxide along with water combines to form bicarbonate as well as uh, some protons will also be released now i think you remember proton or h plus is something related to the what the acidity so when the h plus increases what happens the acidity in the rock increases and this acidification will result in the breaking down of the rocks also or dissolving the rocks you know when, uh, even if you want to uh, what is it remove any organic uh, material from your test tube or anything you just clean it with some acid the best way of cleaning it even if detergent is not removing is is by putting some acid so that the test tube becomes cleaner the same principle is acting over here what happens uh, uh, when acids are being formed as uh, as a result of the growth resultant growth of the organisms what happens these acids will cause a breaking of the solid rock or the sediments over here of course the solid rock is the inorganic material over here it is not organic in nature but uh, at the same time uh, cracking of the rocks will be increased and another factor which is uh, of importance is it's not only the acids that uh, the organism growth will be will contribute but you can see that some of them also produce various organic acids okay and uh, other than that various other metabolites are also been produced by it and these all contribute to the 
final breaking of the particular rocks. I hope uh, this is clear to you. And uh, thus is a physical as well as the chemical factors. Uh, physical factors mainly include uh, like which will contribute to the mechanical weathering. And the chemical weathering is uh, uh, the ones which have been contributed by the microbes as well as the via metabolites as well as the plant growth also. So I guess the process of soil formation is clear to you. Thank you for now.